Everybody, I've been a diehard Oklahoma Sooner fan since 1980. Yeah, I'm in my late 40s, okay? Seen a lot of Sooner football. I've seen a lot of football in general, high school, college, NFL. I've never seen a game quite like the one Saturday night, September 22nd, at the corner of Lindsey and Jenkins in Norman. That big stadium, Gaylord Memorial. Oklahoma, a 31-point underdog. Again, I bleed crimson and cream. Love the Sooners so much. But I'm going to tell you this. Wrong team won the game tonight. The wrong team won the game. People are going to absolutely criticize the Sooners, and rightfully so, for their performance. A game in which they won, but needed overtime to do so. Army outplayed Oklahoma. They outcoached the Sooners. Army did not just come to Norman for kicks on a Saturday evening. They came to win. And their mission was to defeat the Sooners, and that's exactly how they played. Oklahoma's defensive line got worn down, got butchered, got beaten up by Army's O-line. Fullback dive, fullback dive, fullback dive. So, so much of that in the first quarter. Oklahoma couldn't contain it. You know you're in trouble when two of your best linebackers, Kenneth Murray and Curtis Bolton, are combining for what? At the end of the game, like 35, 40 tackles? That's because the defensive line couldn't do shit. The defensive line got absolutely barbecued. Could not do anything. Army, their mission was to control the line of scrimmage. Mission accomplished was to control the clock. 44 minutes plus? Are you absolutely joking? I've never seen a game in my entire life where a team had the ball for that long of time. Nearly a 3-to-1 ratio. Oklahoma didn't even have the ball 16 minutes in regulation. Absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely embarrassing. The Oklahoma's defense got taken to the cleaners, but Army deserves all the credit. Again, the wrong team won this game. And you know something? Football is not about four- and five-star players. It's not about rankings. It's not about 85, 90, 100,000-seat stadiums. It's not about $5 million a year coaches. It's about playing the game to win. Army tonight, four of five on fourth down conversions. They had 21 third down conversion attempts, converted over half of them. Constantly taking the play clock as low as they could and constantly moving the ball. And for most of that first half and for part of that fourth quarter, there was nothing, not a damn thing the Sooners could do about it. I cannot tell you how fortunate the Sooners are. Yeah, winning beats losing. But I'm going to tell you this, and you might say, well, Army played a style of football that some teams can't stop. Duke was able to contain them pretty well. And do you think Duke is a powerhouse in basketball, but not in football? And Army only scored 14 points on him. Only 14, two touchdowns. I can't tell you how fortunate, again, the Sooners are to get out with a W. You lose this game, what's your mentality going to be like for the rest of the season? I think it's going to be pretty damn low. And trust me, Lincoln Riley and the squad will have plenty to work on this next week. It's not because you're about to play Baylor. And it's not about, you know, playing Texas the week after. And all of a sudden, you know, Texas looks a hell of a lot better than they did a few weeks ago against Maryland. you got to give credit to Tom Herman for being able to take it to TCU in the second half. Big win for the Longhorns. And that's what OU will have to face in a couple weeks. This is about the Sooners getting back to the basics and playing with a blue-collar mentality. Army played with that. I commend the Black Knights. They came to win, and they deserved it. I know OU won it in overtime, but Army's game plan, I tell you, it was almost perfect, okay? Able to control the line of scrimmage, forcing the linebackers to make plays. And I want to tell you one thing. Kelvin Hopkins Jr. is one hell of a quarterback. Not too bad of an arm either. And he had over 100 yards rushing. The Army Black Knights were for real. I don't know what the rest of the season is going to be like, but I can tell you one thing. When you play Army, you better come ready to work. As far as the Sooner offense goes, first half it was spectacular. Okay, They ran the ball effectively. Trey Sermon had a heck of a night. Kyler Murray had a heck of a first half, scoring on the first uh, three possessions. The fourth possession, they didn't score by giving them a bit of a pass. There was less than two minutes to go in the half. And the Sooners had the ball, I think, at their own five-yard line. So Army knew that uh, you know that passing was coming on that particular possession to close out the first half. But the second half, the Sooners got away from the run. And Kyler Murray, for all the great things he's done so far this season, for all the terrific things he did tonight, made a boneheaded mistake by 
Throwing a pass. He had no business throwing early in the third quarter. And by the way, the Sooners had just made their first three and out against the Black Knights to start the second half. And what does Kyler Murray do? He throws an inexplicable pass that I don't even think Hollywood Brown was looking for. It was an interception. What does Army do? Well, the same thing they did primarily in the first half. Take eight. Take nine minutes off the clock. And how many times did Army have third and two, third and one? At least two times in the first half they had third and half a yard and still converted and on fourth down. Four for their first four, keeping the chains moving, making Oklahoma not only fatigued, but absolutely frustrated, as we saw become evident in the second half. Sears' offense in the second half did not score a single point. Against that defense, are you kidding me? Are you joking? You got it down at the one-yard line, a chance to punch it in. You're not going to take advantage of Kyler Murray's athleticism or speed. Army was not able to handle Oklahoma's speed, but Oklahoma didn't always utilize that speed to its advantage, especially in the second half. You cannot gain a yard on fourth and go from the one. You cannot get a yard. Man, and, and when did that stop happen? About, about, what, 12, 13 minutes to go in the game? And about 9, 10 minutes later, Army's got the ball in Oklahoma territory, and thank goodness that the Sooners stepped it up and was able to get an interception because, you know, it's just one of those things where you're watching the Sooner defense just get gassed out, and you're wondering, can they come up with a big play? Thank goodness, near the end of regulation, they did. And on the defensive side, that is. And in overtime, they did as well. And by the way, Austin Cyber, and, and here's a big problem I have with the coaching aspect of it, okay? You got weapons on offense. Try to get a touchdown, okay? Don't ever leave the balance of the game with a place kicker. You might say, well, Austin Seibert is all big 12 all mission, but you know what? When you're kicking a field goal, anything can happen, even from 33 yards out, and pressure does matter. Icing a kicker, you can ask the average kicker, does that factor in? Most of them will tell you it is a factor, okay? Takes concentration to still make those mid-range kicks, and Cyber choked, and thankfully, the Sooners picked up the slack in overtime. But in that situation, I take issue with the coaches because, oh, you had timeouts, they're in the red zone, try to get the touchdown, don't leave the game in the balance of the kicker. Oh, you, I thought in the second half, did not run the ball near enough for the game. I think they averaged over 7 yards per carry. At one point in the fourth quarter, averaging 10 yards per carry. First half, we saw them run it primarily. Um to really make Army think twice, second half didn't run as much. And again, no points for the center offense in that second half. But a win's a win. Final line between winning and losing, you get the win. But I thought the wrong team won this game based upon not polls, not prestige, not how many national championships, how many trophies you've won, how many conference championships, what the Vegas line says, but based upon who played with the harder mentality. That was Army. So the Sooners, the state of their fortunate, no shit. No shit. Well, Sooners got Baylor coming up. Baylor defeating Kansas, but, you know, beat Kansas, big deal. It was 26-7, to I think. Um, one good thing I'll say about this game, besides the fact that the Sooners escaped from Alcatraz, or in this case, they escaped from um, Gaylord Memorial Stadium with the win, you're not going to have to worry about facing that damn triple option attack. But that doesn't mean that the Sooners don't have work ahead of them. This better be a damn hard week, hard weeks of practice coming up for the rest of the season. Sears on offense didn't really do well in the second half, and the defense had their problems throughout. But you get the W, 28-21 overtime. Don't forget, I'll have my um, weekly matchup show coming up um, sometime next week between the Sooners and Baylor. 2.30 kickoff on September the uh, 29th. And week from Saturday will be Oklahoma, Texas, 11 a.m. kickoff. And that Texas game looks well, a lot tougher than it did um, just a few days ago. Texas starting to come around, and Longhorn fans have been waiting for that for quite some time. Sooners will still be favored to win, but as we learned tonight, don't take anything for granted. And I said it before, I'll say it again, non-football note, my personal thanks, my gratitude, my appreciation, it can't be big enough for all of our armed forces, Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, Coast Guard, National Guard, all of our armed forces, your sacrifice, your work, your pride, defending our freedom, I'll never take that for granted. So thank you. Army played a hell of a game. You deserve to win. Sooners, very fortunate to get the W in overtime, 28-21. Boomer Sooner.